Hello, you are watching the channel Review Machines. This channel is about most interesting machines for work and fun. Turbo backhoes are other popular machines. There are manufacturer built models and even more handmade backhoes. People like them because they are quite affordable, very simple, sometimes reliable. Besides, they can dig almost as well as expensive self propelled excavators. Today we are going to put on a test Chinese turbo backhoe with 13 HP engine. You can easily find this machine on Alibaba.com. It's being sold there under different names. The price is about three and a half thousand dollars. But don't forget about delivery and customs costs. In one of the, my previous videos, I already made a review of a Chinese backhoe HBP9. Today we have more powerful and expensive model, but we will compare them later. And now let's have a look at the basic technical details of the machine. Gasoline engine, 13 HP. Backhoe is equipped with four hydraulic bearings. Electrical engine start. Each bearing is operated by a single lever. The backhoe weights almost 2,000 pounds. Unloading height is more than 2 meters. Digging depth is also more than 2 meters. As I mentioned, I already made a video about Taubo Backhoe HBP9. If you compare these two models, firstly I should say that the more powerful engine provides faster digging performance. Then the new Backhoe is almost two times heavier than HBP9. On one hand it's better because the machine is more stable when digging, but on the other hand it's more difficult to move the Backhoe manually. Another thing is that the new machine is equipped with four hydraulic bearings and you can level it even on the inclined ground. Let's look at the backhoe closer. Chinese gasoline engine with electrical starter seems to be rather qualitative. Oil pump is driven directly by the engine. Four bearings provide stability when digging. Oil tank is under the seat. The hitch is foldable and the seat is adjustable. There is a house top and two headlamps to work at night. The bucket is fixed by two pins. It can be easily replaced. The backhoe comes complete with additional attachments. The coal to move different objects. The ripper to loosen hard ground. And three different buckets. If you look at the backhoe closely, it produces a good impression. The metal is thick, all the components seem to be reliable, main parts of the machine are easily accessible, and it's no sweet to replace them or repair if necessary. But I should mention that the welding seams and paint film leave much to be desired. It's very easy to control the backhoe. Four levers in the middle are in charge of operating the hydraulic bearings. Right lever controls the turning of the boom. By the way, the boom can swing within 140 degrees. The same lever controls the bucket to load and unload it. When you turn left lever to the left or right, the boom goes up and down. To fold and unfold the boom, we should push and pull the same lever. Now let's try to dig a trench on a regular clay. I chose the narrowest bucket 200 mm. It's rather useful feature to dig such a narrow trenches, because it can't be dug manually with a deep more than 3 feet.
now I want to tell what I personally think about this machine. First of all, as Anita Albobeco, this one is a good trencher. But it can compete with the self-propelled excavators if you need to dig big holes like swimming pool, for example. The point is that the boom of a Taubo Beko can swing only within about 140 degrees. In this way, you will have to move the machine more often when digging a big hole. But the Beko is non-self-propelled. Certainly you can move it by the boom, but it's much more complicated thing in comparison with self-propelled excavators. So if you are going to dig mainly big holes like swimming pools, I recommend to choose self-propelled machine. But if you need to dig deep trenches, Taubo Beko is good choice. As to particular this backhoe, it produced on me an impression of a slightly raw product. It looks as if it was a hammer-made machine. On the whole, I can't find any serial drawbacks, but there are many small things that I don't like. Paint film, welding seams, hoses without charm, wheels, all that seem to be so to speak half-baked. The other day I made a video about Taubo Backhoe HBP9, and I liked it much more, despite it costs much cheaper. I hope the factory where this certain HP backhoe is produced will finish off the design to get rid of bad details that I mentioned. Meantime, the backhoe has dug rather deep trench, so as you can see it works quite efficiently. By the way, firstly you have to get used to the control of the machine, otherwise it will jerk and move abruptly, and that may even damage the backhoe. Well, it's time to sum up the review. For all that, I can say that the backhoe is a rather decent machine, which can be useful for many purposes, especially for digging different trenches. If the factory improves slightly the design and components, it will be a perfect backhoe, and we will review it with a great interest. Thanks for watching my channel, please subscribe, we are going to review many more interesting machines. Goodbye.